Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be on the Tory Burch fall and winter collection. I know it hasn't been released, but I did go on her website and the only reason I went on her website and saw that they actually had this color, like a preview of it out was because I saw this Instagram photo, which I'll put up right now of her. And if you know, I zoomed in and I cropped it out so you guys can see, but when I saw this photo and I saw that bag on the table, oh my God, I fell in love. I loved the way she designed that bag. It looks like a more higher end bag. And I was hoping that maybe because she had posted it on her Instagram that, you know, it would be up on the website, but I'm wrong. And then I realized that that's actually going to be hopefully part of her fall winter collection, which obviously it's going to be in about like two or three months. But anyways, um, when I went on her website, I noticed that she actually had a preview for some of the bags that she will be re releasing for that collection. So I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys, you know, uh, about what I think about the bags that I saw. And uh, the first bag that I want to mention, and I have photos here, so if you're wondering so what I'm looking at, it's this, so we both know what we're looking at. I'm obviously going to post photos, but just, you know, stay on track here. So the first bag that I saw was this um, kind of like basically Louis Vuitton Speedy, Speedy, Speedy monogram inspired bag. And it's, I feel like it's literally the exact same thing except for the color and the monogram. And I actually really, really, really like it. I like the color combination. I feel like the color combination makes it look like a very classic bag, something that you can have for many years and it'll always kind of be in trend or, or it will go with a lot of outfits, casual or dressy. And I really, 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 I don't know what it is, but I just love the color combination. It, neutrals, I mean, what can we say? It gets, it gets us every time. Now the next bag that I saw was actually my Eleanor bag, but what they did is instead of it having a gold chain, so let me just show you the photo of the one that they have out now. So that it's this one. And then the new updated version of it or the fall winter version of it is instead of a gold chain, they have a leather strap. So for any of you guys that really liked that bag, but were kind of iffy because of the strap, because then I did have a couple of people leave me comments, you know, curious about the actual strap, then they um, have this option for you guys. But the only thing is that the stitching is actually white. They were doing like a contrast color, as you can see in this photo. Uh, they have like an actual zoomed in photo of it so you can tell a difference but if it's something that's going to bother you then you guys probably would not like that i feel like it kind of does go with that 70s vibe that if you can tell from her from these outfits that i'm showing you guys that it is you know kind of going along with that but i feel like it makes it look a little bit more casual instead of super dressy like the gold chain eleanor bag that i currently own so again, if you guys are interested in that one, but weren't, you know, super happy with the strap, now, now they're going to give us a option for the leather strap. And I'm not sure if they're going to have any more colors. These bags, I'm not sure how many colors they're going to come out in. These are just the photos that they had up on the website. So we're just going to go with that. Now, the next bag that they have is this shoulder bag. And it's, and I saw it in two colors. I saw it in this snakeskin print that you're seeing up right now. And then I also saw it in like this um, olive green, which I really love the green. I think that's a really cool color. I don't have a bag that color. And I feel like these types of bags, it's kind of like a mix of like a hobo slash sh shoulder bag. That's how I perceive these bags. I know they're just a basic shoulder bag, but it's, I feel like it's like a little bit of a mix of both. And... I really do like it. I don't think I'm going to purchase it, but if you like these types of bags and you like something that's, I feel like it's kind of like in between, um, like an oversized bag and then a small bag. It's like right in the middle. The next bag that I really, really, really liked, but I'm not, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to purchase is the on trend shoulder bag, but this one actually looks a little bit bigger and the two shades that I saw were the snake print and then a neutral suede which a lot of her bags you know were suede material and obviously it goes with that whole 70s vibe 70s I don't know what it is but I guess I really like suede back in the day and I do like the fact that these actually look a little bit bigger and if you I wish I could zoom in to it but if you actually look at the photo 
it actually has it's interesting instead of having one strap it has two so obviously once they release the photos with actual like better details and things like that then we can actually zoom in and really look at it but i just thought that was really unique the fact that it has two straps instead of one just you know kind of switch up the whole shoulder bag design to it and i also like the fact that it looks a little bit bigger than the typical shoulder bag where you know they're kind of tiny so i really appreciate that and i can't wait to see what that's going to look like i'm still kind of going back and forth i think i'm going to wait and see what she ends up charging for these shoulder bags if i end up purchasing one or not because that camel colored bag looks really beautiful and then the last bag that i saw was one that she already kind of has out for now and it's the monogram camera bag which is this one right here and i know she already has that bag out but i'm pretty sure she's gonna end up coming out with a different type of color and not design but i guess yeah i guess just the color and i did see another bag but there wasn't like a good angle on it and it's those um bags where it's leather and it has two buckles in the front so i tried to get a really good photo to show you guys but i couldn't zoom in and it just looked really blurry so i didn't end up posting it but it basically looks like a book bag and i did notice that you know a lot of other brands are actually coming out with bags similar to this one so we'll see what happens with that trend i personally know that i don't like it because it doesn't go with any of my styles i think it's cute but i know i'm not going to be purchasing that literally out of all the bags that i saw the ones that really caught my attention were the shoulder bag and the one that i showed you guys that was on her instagram kind of like a little teaser i just want to see if she comes out with a nude color for that because if she does i'm snatching it up real quick so yeah guys i just wanted to kind of go over her fall and winter collection I hope you guys found this interesting let me know what you guys think about the bags that i mentioned so far that's all that i've seen that and that she's released so we'll see in the next coming up months her official collection hopefully you know she obviously has more bags that are not being released or shown in any of her previous i, I went through all her instagram i like try to zoom in on the models and all that stuff but i couldn't see any other bags it was way too difficult so uh, yeah that's it guys i'll see you guys next time bye